Hi, my name is Charlotte and I've had the air ambulance twice in a year. Just a normal commute home on my bicycle. Um, come around a corner and was met with a tractor. In May 2015, my wife and I were involved in a serious motorcycle RTA. I thought I was fit and healthy, but along came the 3rd of December 2014 and suddenly the Grim Reaper was hovering nearby and uh, I had 12 cardiac arrests in just over an hour. I was put in Rufenfeld on my son's treehouse. Um, it had rained earlier in the day and the tree was slippery. One minute I was up on the roof, next minute I knew I was flying through the air thinking this is going to hurt. When I'd found out that my dad had in fact gone to hospital and mum was, I never want to see her like that again. The first I knew about Ollie's accident was when I returned home from work and I tried to call Ollie. He didn't answer his mobile phone, that's the one rule I have with him. There'd been an accident and Ollie had been hurt. We live in quite a rural area, like, the, like there's nothing really around us and they arrived very quickly. Luckily, I don't remember much, but I just remember waking up in hospital and feeling really, really bad. When I knew the air ambulance was on its way, I had very mixed emotions. One, I knew that he was going to be very quickly taken to where he needed to be, as well as I realised just then how serious Ollie's accident had the potential to be. Without the air ambulance, he would have survived. Thankfully did, and uh, he's come through the other side extremely well. I'd seen it going overhead, and I knew it was important, but it never really been important to me. I think the Devon Air Ambulance is a fantastic service. They do a sterling job, and they really are a uh, asset to the community. We raised just over four and a half thousand pounds to give somebody else the opportunity to have an airlift and have their lives changed the way I had mine changed. Without the air ambulance, there's no way I'd probably still be on a horse today because both incidents were really isolated in the area that it happened. I'm fit and I'm healthy, I'm enjoying life and it's all thanks to the Devon Air Ambulance. It's scary whenever the air ambulance goes overhead because you never know where it's going but also from the experience my dad had with them I know that whoever they're going to is going to get the best care possible. I do think it's our helicopter and we're very, very lucky to have it. He certainly wouldn't be alive without it. It's a wonderful organisation to be involved with, so please come and help us and join us. The Devon Air Ambulance Service can continue only because of the support of local people. It's great to think that we've got charities like this, Devon Air Ambulance, that are out in the community, doing community work, um, trying to get the right help to the right people when they need it. Give what you can when you can to help a brilliant cause. It takes a community. It really does take a community and any donations you can give, whether it's through the charity shops, through fundraising, you never know if it will be you, your family member or a friend. It really is important to keep the air ambulance going. I always say thank you when, when they fly over. It takes a community. It really does take a community to keep the air ambulances flying.